Okay, so taking the uh, door panel off an X5, uh, I did look at a video on YouTube, but it didn't show all of the points you have to undo at all. The little airbag um, clip here is a trick. There's a torque screw in behind there, and the, uh, the wood grain or black, whatever you have, cover, you need to take that off, just prying it from the back. It came off quite easily. And again, there's a torque screw was in there. And then another one down behind the handle, there's a torque screw in there where that yellow is. So they were the torque screws, one here, one here, one there. And then down at the base, um, there was one, this is the pocket of the door, and there was a torque screw there as well. And then it's just a matter of clipping off the clips all the way around, uh, and also removing the uh, window winder. That again, just loosening it from the bottom, worked best and then prying it up from the top just being very gentle lifting it out and then uh, pretty standard BMW clips uh, these guys with their clips to um, to get that undone and now the door panel will lift off but that's the location of all your screws okay time for the next tip these uh, clips often with the door you lift it up to get the last little bit off but these ones you actually have to clip off pulling the door directly towards you and then it'll come off and uh, come out and then we just disconnect the door light down the bottom and the door panel will be off so we've um, opened up there's a, a rubber goo all the way around here just got to gently pull that back trying not to damage the, the foam insert and uh, create yourself a bit of space to get up inside uh, up inside here to where the, um, the handle is there's some things to disconnect up inside and uh, just now we're going to loosen off these are T30 torque screws on the outside, those three silver bolts. We're going to loosen those off, leave one in place to hold it in place. And then we've got some cables up in here. There it is. We've got some cables to, uh, to disconnect. That uh, little ball joint there is the one that needs to come off. So we're going to remove this plug here because the uh, actuator is not dropping out and it's obviously attached to the lock in some way. And so we started to work on this, working on the outside edge of this plastic plug, but it absolutely wouldn't budge. And then we discovered that it's actually, you want to get that lifter under there Grant? It's actually just the inner part of that comes out. Oh, and then the whole thing comes out once it's out. And in there. Yeah, we get access to the lock the plug. And then tight on the angle was this Allen key we needed to get out. Um, was holding the lock mechanism in place. And then once this was out, then we could just simply slide this mechanism. Just took a little bit of prying and then the lock mechanism came straight out. And that's the part that it goes into the top of the actuator. actuator and was actually stopping it from dropping out. So now that that's out, the actuator has dropped out. What size Allen key was that, do we? That was a, a 532nd. Oh, there you go, it was an Imperial. One size fits all. <laughs> so now the actu actuator is out. Come all the way out, is it? There we go time to slip the new one in and if you game just have a look to make sure they do look the same that you've actually got the right part which we have so now we just need to uh, get the pin off the old actuator the lock pin we'll just pull that up with a vertically up with a pair of pliers pointing those pliers right here and uh, Slip it in the slot and put the little slot uh, there of the white piece up. Put that in, and press down. Look at that, perfect. That's now ready to go back up inside. And that there is where the uh, the end of the door lock will end up sliding into. There's the door lock, and that uh, goes exactly like that so that the key can turn the actuator as well. Different on the passenger side to the driver's side.
and obviously also different left hand drive to right hand drive. So just connect to this first cable first. It um, has a little hook down the bottom which we hooked on uh, to the hook on the actuator and then um, it clips in place. I'll probably show you about it here. Uh, there's the hook. So the cable hooks onto there first and then there's a little semicircle part on the cable that uh, clips into there and it gave a nice little snap. So that first cable is on, the uh, metal bar is on, and it's poking through the hole at the top. It came out where we wanted it to. Uh, this will be fitted with a key, so there's just now the ball joint connection, the ball joint that goes on here, and the uh, slotting onto the cable holder that's above it there. I'll do that now. These three main bolts back in place, and I'll do them up snug, but I won't do them up super tight at this point, so there's still a bit of movement when the uh, lock, the barrel for the lock goes in as well. Done up snug, and uh, now it's time for the lock to go in. And we should be able to see in there, yeah, there's the star off the actuator. So, Grant, if you can maybe look through the side and yeah. see if that's, oh, oh, just put it up the right way around is going to be helpful. There it goes. It slid in. back in just sitting in place and now check the angle of the allen key you can see the angle that you need to go on in order to get that uh, allen key back in there and that'll hold the lock cylinder back in place which slides into the top of the actuator okay so the biggest tip of the lot put it all in we thought hey let's test it before we put the door together to make sure it's all working and it wasn't it wasn't going up wasn't going down and then uh, we had the great idea to actually plug in the window controller to the plugs here, and then it works fine. So if you test it and it doesn't work, um, plug in your window controller, put your panel back on and put the um, window controller back on, and then give it a try. But uh, ours is now working. Okay, so here we go. Just to show off, lock the car. All the buttons go down. I should hold up so you can see that as well. Press it once to unlock, up she goes. Press it twice, up goes the other side. Very happy. When you get a job done like that, working like that, go inside and make yourself a coffee. Well done.